Why would any reasonable person oppose equity? My name is Quay Hanna. I've spent my career standing up against racism in white America, speaking to students about why they should judge others without prejudice or bias, regardless of skin color. I think equity is an important value that all Americans should prioritize. But when I read an article detailing how my kids' school district aimed to make equity a priority, I got concerned. My kids, QJ, Oliver, Lexi, and Violet, span between the second and 10th grade. With some other parents in our school district, we formed a community alliance dedicated to helping our students achieve the American dream. Reading that article demonstrated that dream was at risk. Although historically, equity has always meant fairness, we have tracked how its definition has been transformed by something called critical race theory. CRT is an ideology that begins with the presupposition that America was founded on white supremacy, and therefore racism is at the heart of every single inequity, by which they mean unequal outcomes of any kind in our society and schools. And it doesn't just stop with white supremacy. The broader concepts of critical theory would argue that every unequal outcome, not just by skin color, come from a power imbalance looking at the very concept of meritocracy as corrupt. In short, every unequal outcome requires identifying an oppressor and an oppressed. CRT is almost never called by its name when it's being implemented. It usually arrives through pseudonyms like race consciousness, cultural competency, action civics, and in our case, equity. My Community Alliance learned that our administrators and teachers have been receiving trainings based in CRT for a few years now. In that time, we've also received stories from parents about teachers taking students down the path of activism, promoting books that teach kids to feel bad about their skin color, bad about their country, and promoting sexually inappropriate articles, all in the name of inclusion and equity. Please don't misunderstand. I am strongly in support of diversity, equity, and inclusion based on the original definition of those words. But critical theory promotes the opposite. It never allows for a diversity of thoughts, an equity of examination, nor the inclusion of anyone who disagrees with its ideology. As someone who has dedicated his career to removing racism from our society, I know that race consciousness is a dangerous restructuring of both our local community and entire society. CRT seeks to disrupt and dismantle education as we know it and replace it with a neo-racist approach to human relations that focuses on skin color groups and our alleged differences instead of individuals and our similarities. I do not want my kids, nor any students, to be trained to hate each other. Educators should be honest about America's history of failures to live up to its values of inclusion and equal rights, but also be honest about the incredible ways in which we have overcome those shortcomings to move ever closer to being a nation that focuses on the content of our character and not the color of our skin. I think about my fourth grade daughter, Lexi. Her already racially diverse friend group welcomed in a new Spanish-speaking classmate a few weeks ago. This new classmate knows almost no English, and my daughter and the others don't know any Spanish. They spend a lot of time using homemade sign language to figure out what each other are saying. They laugh and giggle and have a blast every day, learning just a little bit more about each other, their cultures and their languages. They don't care about the color of each other's skin. They don't care about the struggles of communication. They don't care about the differing backgrounds from which they come because their focus is on their relationship. Oftentimes I think about the objectives of CRT. Of what benefit would it be for them to think about their skin color more? Of what benefit would it be for them to recognize someone in their group as an oppressor and someone else as oppressed? How would unity be created by lumping any of these girls into skin color groups instead of allowing them to reveal their personality and character through playing on the playground together. Perhaps we should all be more like these fourth graders. Join me in standing up for pro-human values at fairforall.org.